Ten years ago, in 2004, Mr. Stern decided that the masterpiece for this anniversary, 175th, will be a grand sonnery but a wristwatch. My idea was to say, okay, we should have something very complicated, that you always need something who is better, like the masterpiece. The Grand Master Chime was 10 years of reflection, 7 years of work, 100,000 hours of fabrication. It was a very tough challenge for us because a Grand Sonry, we, we didn't have the experience for the wristwatch, only for the pocket watch. And also we wanted a very complicated watch with a perpetual calendar in the other side of the watch. So Grand Sonry, double face and perpetual calendar. And then after that, uh, Thierry Stern come with the idea to ring the date. And so uh, we said, if we have grand sonnery, petit sonnery, minute repeater, and uh, date repeater, what about an alarm? So there is in the center the hours and the minute. The indication of the alarm is at 12 o'clock. The indication of the, the date at 6 o'clock with the moon. And there is also a second end in the center for the second time zone. So it's easy. If we want to ask for the minute repeater, we press on the pressure on the crown, like that. And the hours and the quarters sounds. The indication of the perpetual calendar. So I turn the watch like that. Hop. And now there is the, the date always at six o'clock. You have the day indication, the month indication at nine o'clock and six o'clock. And you have the time with the hours on 24 hours with the minutes. I think what is very impressive is that Patrick Philippe didn't change philosophy. I always saw the same and hear the same about Patek Philippe, that we, we should maintain really the same quality level, the same will to produce everything in-house and to be the most accurate watches also. This was very important. So this is what I like with Patek, is that all the changes, talking about figures, people, yes, they have evolved, but the mentality behind didn't evolve. We still have the same passion, we still have the same philosophy.